Book when you join Liberty. Call 1-800-844-9778. Drew Peterson battles a gun charge in court. Why the ex-cop could lose more than his freedom. Nancy Grace has the latest. Headline news tonight, 8 and 10 Eastern. Oh, my God. Oh, just call me Howie. And what is your name? Gay. Gay. I'm trying to spread the word about buy.com. Shopping, any need that you have in this house, click on the food processor. How easy is that? Is there a place that we can lie down and wait? I love what you've done with the lighting. Oh, look at this. That Your blender's amazing. here. I want a gay smoothie. Buy.com is tremendous. I'm Howie. She's gay. Most of the time. Buy.com. Bye Buy.com. I've been making credit card payments for years, but the balance never seems to go down. It's getting scary. No matter how high your debts are, at Jordan McKenna, we're not here to judge you. We're here to help you. Together, we can reduce your balances, stop those collection calls. We'll even design an affordable monthly payment plan that fits your budget. You could save thousands of dollars. Call Jordan McKenna right now for a no-obligation consultation. Call 1-800-820-9905. Polygamous cult leader Warren Jeffs being forced to give DNA samples as cops build a sexual assault case against him. You know, we've seen those creepy pictures of him passionately kissing a girl as young as 12. It's what we don't see. That's what scares me about that. Well, a priest visiting Barack Obama's church caught on tape mocking Hillary Clinton, saying she thinks she's entitled to the presidency because she's rich and white. Obama says he wants to unify people of all races, but with supporters like these, will voters believe him? Drew Peterson and John Travolta? The picture shows the two standing together, and Peterson's lawyer says this proves his innocence. So how could this photo help the suspected wife killer? Prime News starts now. And welcome once again. This is Prime News. I'm Mike Alanis. You know, I'm still stunned. We reported it all day yesterday. Texas State Supreme Court ruled that authorities were not justified in raiding that polygamous compound in Texas. We learned uh, recently that the children will begin returning to SEC members on Monday. Well, here's what makes my blood boil. You hear the latest news on Warren Jeffs, the prophet. Authorities want DNA tests from the cult leader, and you better believe they should test them. Remember the pictures? Jeffs passionately kissing a girl thought to be 12. There it is. Matter of fact, Jeffs is suspected of having sex with four girls at the Texas ranch, ages 12 to 15. One of them became pregnant at age 15. Makes you sick when you see that. That's another girl, by the way. It's not even the same one. Joining me now to talk about this, Mimi Coffey. We welcome her back from a defense attorney out of Texas. Uh, and we want to also make, let everybody know this story part of our Uncovering America series where we turn the spotlight on people and diverse issues that deserve more attention. Uh, our other guest on this, Vicki Ziegler, family law attorney out of Texas. Well, Mimi, you're ready to go. It's third day in a row for you. Uh, let's talk about Warren Jeffs. How easy is this? You get his DNA, you get the baby of the 15-year-old's DNA. If it matches, guilty, right? That's right. It's very easy. And under the Texas Family Code provisions, it is a crime for anybody to interfere in the investigation. And they do not need the parent's consent to get the DNA. So it should not be difficult. So that, that, that we're not going to have any of these sect leaders, any of the fathers, uncles, whatever, getting in the way of this. They should be able to get that baby and get the DNA. In terms of getting medical records or getting the DNA testing from the child, Texas law gives the agency, uh, the government officials in this case, CPS, full authority, even without the parent's consent, to obtain this evidence. All right. Now, getting the evidence from the parents, uh, now, of course, they're, they're going to have to be you know, either subpoenas, you're going to have to follow the law on that, you're going to have to gather evidence. Uh, once you get probable cause information that would allow a district attorney to pursue a search warrant, then at that point, uh, yes, under both the United States Constitution, under Texas laws, uh, the district attorney, the police officers will be able to get that information, even from those parents who are not cooperating. All right, maybe yes. one, one more for you real quick before we get Vicki uh, in on this. How, could this play out? at all go with what's going on in Texas, or is this just Warren Jeff specific? No, I, I think that uh, any member of that religious sect that is performing criminal offenses on minor children in the state of Texas, uh, they are liable under the Texas criminal laws. And that statute of limitations is a lifetime in terms of the first degree and second degree uh, sexual offense criminal violations. Okay. All so, right. no, there's a, there's, if, it's, if it's happening on the ranch, uh, yes, they should be prosecuted in Texas, and Texas has equipped 
our CPS officials, law enforcement officials, with many tools in which to get that information. I think the biggest problem is, um, unlike DWI in terms of uh, there, you have to be committing the offense in a public place, I believe that the members of this religious sect think that because they do it behind closed doors, they do it in privacy at their ranch, nobody knows about it except them, that they can get away with it, that they can veil this under First Amendment mm. religion, uh, you know, freedom of religion, right. and they just can't do that. There is no public element to a criminal offense when you are assaulting a That's child. Right. Okay. They're hiding behind the First Amendment. They cannot do that. They have been all along. Hey, uh, Vicki, let's get you in on this. We know uh, that the kid's going to be returned beginning on Monday with some conditions. Uh, let's read some of those off. They have to show ID. They have to stay in the state of Texas, and they also uh, uh, need parenting classes. Uh, yeah. l let me ask you about these restrictions. I mean, you think they're going to even abide by them? Because there's a big fear they're going to hit the road. They're going to leave the state. Well, they're going to have to. It'd be, the trial court has uh, broad discretion as it relates to these specific restrictions. So I don't necessarily think that once they're implemented, if they do break the law, I mean, the state is going after them hard. And I think, obviously, all eyes are on them at this point. But these restrictions are very important because it's going to give the CPS... Uh, uh, guidelines in within which that they can monitor, go to the homes and check. There is grave disparity in the sense that they can go and make sure that these children are not being sexually or, or abused at any time. And if they are, they can have these individuals, whether it's a mother or a father, removed immediately from the home. So the children are not necessarily going to be thrown back to the wolves, so to speak, although I'm devastated over the ruling. Let's, let's hope not. And I mentioned parenting classes. Come on. They need deprogramming classes, don't they? Oh, absolutely. I mean, these people are brainwashed. You see this picture of Jeff's and this young 11-year-old that's alleged to be kissing and, and touching. It's disgusting. It's gross, so, yes. I, yeah, I mean, it, it really, it, it turns my stomach. I think there's going to be harsh implementation that has to go on here. But again, this is a widespread problem. I don't think it's going to be an overnight solution to deprogram these people. I mean, these these sex have been going on for, for eternity. So, I mean, I think heavy, heavy therapy with the children, with the parents, and it's going to be a long road until I think we see recovery. But at the end of the day, we, meet, we need to protect the children. And if they are being raped and abused in these homes, um, they, they have to be, you know, they have to be safeguards implemented. All right. Ladies, uh, Mimi Coffey, Vicki Ziegler, uh, appreciate your time. We're keeping an eye, obviously, on Warren Jeffs and these DNA tests and also with uh, what's going on with those kids in Texas. They head back with their parents on Monday. Ladies, thanks again. Thank you. All Thank right. You, uh, you, you know, it was shaping up to be a beautiful Friday in New York, but then tragedy struck. A crane collapsed in Manhattan. We know two people have been killed. This happened on the Upper East Side, and when you look at the pictures, they're incredible. But it could have been a lot worse if there's something to be thankful for through all this as the crane basically tore through a high-rise apartment. Then you see some of the pictures there. Uh, we've been covering all day here on Headline News. And our Prime News correspondent, Michelle Carey, I know you've been following all